this? Game story. In the closing years of the Sengoku era, Japan was consumed by perpetual Make sure you comment, conflict. like, share, subscribe, whatever you gotta do. If you guys like this game. <laughs> Spreading deep. I'll let you guys see this cutscene. To the land of Ashima. <laughs> What's the matter, Stray? Nothing left to lose? Well, would you look at that? Fascinating. Will you join me, Starving Wolf? On that day, a young cub was taken from the battlefield. He trained relentlessly, and indeed, went on to become a Master Shinobi. Listen, Wolf. You must never forget the Shinobi Code. As your father, my word is absolute. Your master's is a close second. As of today, he is your master. Defend him with your life. If he is taken, bring him back at any cost. You understand me, don't you, Wolf? All right, guys, so that was the first cutscene, I guess. Let's go right into the game. That was kind of interesting. So let's see how similar this is to... Some 20 Souls. years after Ishin's coup, the Ashina clan was on the brink of collapse. And the shinobi, known as Wolf, had lost everything. Both the man who took him in and the boy he had sworn to protect. Okay, let's see where it's going. Shinobi, open your eyes for the sake of your master. Guys, it looks like the game's there. We go. We got much better quality. 
uh, frame rate, I mean. So let's get right into this. This is the first area, I guess. Doesn't seem to be much of anything there. It's better off. Alright. What's this? Letter thrown into a well. Your destiny awaits you at the Moonview Tower. Escape from the well and find the tower. Even without a bleed, you can reach it. Alright. <clears throat> well jump. Interesting. So I'm going to take the beaten path or off the beaten track and see what's this direction. I know this is probably not the way to go for the main quest line anyways. Not the back here. Alright, so we can't do anything. We just gotta basically avoid it. Shinobi point. at the bottom of the well. We didn't shackle him, restrain him, nothing. That doesn't worry anybody? Not at all. Not only is he unarmed, he has completely lost his will to live. Nothing but a coward. Un what? So they're very sensitive to, like, aggro. They can see a pretty long distance, it seems like. So I chance beneath four words. Right, that's what I did the first time and it didn't... This is where I went the first time and the guy still seen me. Alright. Let's see here. Don't worry about it. The whole face is the edge of a cliff. No one could pass through it. Okay. Thinking we go down this way. There we go. Whoa. Alright, here we go. Don't want to drop down, so that's gonna kill me. So, I mean, guys, it seems a little bit easier than the Toll series, but, I mean, in general, it's about the same concept and control so far. There's slight differences, but... The fluidity of it's a lot different. did well to come here. It's been too long, Wolf. 
I've come to free you, my lord. Well then. Do it. Raise your head. Kusabi Maru, your sword. My shinobi. In accordance with the bond of lord and retainer, you will pledge your life in my service. As you command. Alright guys, so we've acquired the sword, which seems to be a katana, uh, given by Korra, the divine heir. So this is an heirloom of the Hirata family, a cadet branch, um, descended from Ashina, which seems to be the location we're in, at least that's what it said when we first started the game. Um, So once thought lost, it was found its way back into the hands of the wolf. So apparently this guy's name is the wolf. Um, so there's that. Uh, so okay guys, let's go ahead and start. And now so that we got the sword, we can do some sort of combat now. So let's see how this goes. Loyal wolf, I see you are wounded. I have something that may help. It is a special gourd of medicinal waters. Use it to heal your wounds. Healing gourd. Healing gourd filled with vitality. So this looks like the Estus flask from uh, the Soul series. Which obviously if you guys have played the Soul series you know what the Estus flask is. It's basically your way of healing in the game, so to say. So let's see how you My lord. It. Now then, were you gravely injured? A afterward? After what? Do you not remember that night? I do not. Hmm. No. We'll talk about it later. Right now we must escape Ashina Castle. As you say. There's a secret passage beneath the moat bridge that will take us out of the castle. Lord Ishin told me about it once. I ask you to find that secret passage. Once you find it, hmm, signal me with a reed whistle. You know, like you used to long ago. I will join you as soon as I hear it. So you can cycle through various quick items and use each according to uh, the situation. Um, for instance, if you have taken damage, you can recover vitality with a healing gourd. So I think that one was kind of self-explanatory. So it was, but um, it's telling me that anyways. Did it respawn the enemies? Yes, it did. Alright. Respawns the enemies when you die. As well as sets you back to the previous save. So it is pretty unforgiving in the Soul series. Which is pretty much. <laughs> There's nothing up there. Let's do this. Yeah. 
So this is surprisingly easy compared to most Dark Souls games. Once you get like the bearings down. We'll stay with the pellets because they give it a lot less uh, HP regen. So this will bash Ash Crypt into our encounter to temporarily distract them. I think I'm gonna take the safe way around here, guys. That doesn't look very promising trying to jump from that. You know that secret passage at the bottom of the moat, under the bridge? We just got orders to guard it. Hmm. Security's getting tight. War will be upon us very soon. All right. Yeah, dude, I mean, I know the stream quality is terrible. Uh, but it's really kind of best I can do in my location with the uh, internet quality. So anybody watching, I do apologize for not getting the internet quality. But uh, like I said, it is really honestly the best I can do. So we killed this little troll under the bridge. Now how do I get up on the bridge though? So I don't think that we can use the prosthetic tool yet. I know that it's in the game, I just don't know if we have unlocked it yet, or how you get it, but we will eventually. I'm sure it makes the traversal much easier. I think I found the right path, let's try it out.
Wolf, you found it. Now let us leave this place. Yes, my lord. To think that this is the only way to run from the faded bloodline is the only answer. All right, so do we have to talk to her again? Where shall we go once we're away from the castle? I suppose the first thing we should do is cross the Ashina border. Or perhaps we should hide somewhere. What do you think? Whatever you desire. Whatever I desire? That's the wolf I know. My lord. <laughs> oh, nothing. I was just reminiscing. Onward, then. So this game is, like, kind of like Neo. But done so much better. Like, it's Neo the way it should have been. To be honest. Alright, so now I have no idea where I'm supposed to go. Because this is massive. Yeah, so. The Divine Heir. Last we stood together was your uncle's funeral. Lord Genichiro. I... Thank you. Leave this to me. Alright guys, this looks like a pretty big boss fight of some sort. So the noble shinobi stands in our way. You face Genichiro Ashina! Okay, so he actually takes a lot of damage per hit, so be careful when facing this guy. No way. So you're not expected to beat this guy? Is that all the shinobi has to offer? The divine heir will be coming with me. That sucks. Uh, so make sure you guys are liking and uh, subscribing to the channel to see the rest of this series. There are probably going to be records, but um, we're going to do a couple live streams throughout the first this? couple days of launch. So you're awake. Looks like death is not your fate. Just yet. Okay, let's see here. 
So we've received the prosthetic replica of human arm fitted with variety of mechanisms. Designed with modification in mind so you can upgrade it. Well, bears a number of cuts. Here's this guy. What do you call yourself? Your eyes. The eyes of a wolf who has failed in his duties. Or so it seems to me. That is not your concern. <laughs> Spoken like a true shinobi, I must carve the Buddha. You do what you will. Alright. So we know how we got here. This guy picked me up and brought me here from some sort. So I'm gonna ask about the My arm. left arm. What did you do to me? That is what I call the shinobi prosthetic. A fitting fang for a one-armed wolf. Useless when it comes to carving Buddha, though. You can have it. Shinobi prosthetic? It is no mere replacement for your lost arm. Come to me if you find any shinobi tools. Shinobi tools? I see. For this device. <laughs> you catch on quick. If you bring me shinobi tools, I'll find a way to fit them to the shinobi prosthetic. Then you'll come to appreciate its worth. Hmm. I've said too much. Go now. You're quite the strange one. Yet other peculiar visitors have come to this temple. There's one in the clearing to the right of the gate leading off the temple grounds. Two strangers in strange circumstances. You two might get along. Alrighty, so where am I supposed to go next? You see the kind-faced Buddha there? That isn't one of mine. It was carved by the true sculptor. When a man must confront what is inside of him, it can probably be of help. Confront what is inside him? Anger, sadness, or perhaps old memories of times long gone. That kind of thing. Alright. 